Hi there, it's Masaki from Queer in s l 皆さんこんにちは。クイア英会話のマサキです。There are so many misconceptions about LGBTQ people, their politics and cultures in Japan, and I am sick of them. But I also know that there aren't that many resources available in English. So let's take a look at five things you might not know about LGBTQs in Japan. Number one, we don't seem to have many hate crimes going on in Japan against LGBTQ people, but does that reflect reality? Well, there are violent hate crimes in Japan. In 1999 and 2000, Dozens of gay men were attacked in Yumenoshima Park or Shinkiba by a group of seven boys, and one of them was beaten to death. The perpetrators said that they had targeted gay men specifically because they knew that、um, gay men would not report to the police when they were attacked in a cruising spot. That is clearly a case of hate crime, but there are no legal Definition or concept about hate crimes in Japanese laws. So basically, victims don't go to the police, and even when they do, the police don't recognize it as a hate crime. So naturally, we don't seem to have many hate crimes going on in Japan on paper. Number two, Tokyo Rainbow Pride is not the only Pride march in Japan. The first Pride in Japan was held in 1994, and ever since, There has always been at least one pride、uh, somewhere in the country every single year. In Tokyo, Osaka, Kobe, Kyoto, Hokkaido, Sapporo, Sapporo is in Hokkaido,、uh, and Fukuoka, Aichi, and Okinawa. Number three, traditional male male romantic and sexual bonds、uh, found in feudal Japan. Have little to do with today's level of acceptance of queerness. Western cultures and values、uh, imported during the Meiji era and、uh, the country's rapid militarization, coupled with、uh, policies about、uh, families and reproduction, created a huge disconnect in. In sexual cultures and, and, and ideas about intimacy between before and after Meiji. Number four, because we see lots of gay men, trans women, and effeminate men on TV every day, and some of them have been around for decades and some of them are new,、um, it's easy to assume that the, 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 the Japanese mass media have been. Quite LGBT friendly for decades. But the same is simply not true for lesbian women. One example is Naomi Sagara. She was a very, very popular award winning singer, but as soon as she got outed as lesbian, the showbiz industry kicked her out permanently. Number five, Taiga Ishikawa, a council member of、uh, Toshima Ward in Tokyo, has been largely praised as. Japan's first openly gay politician, but that is not true. Not only do we have Wataru Ishizaka, who got elected to the、uh, council in another ward in Tokyo the same year, 2011,、uh, who for some reason did not get as much media attention as Taiga did. We had already had Kanako Otsuji, one of the、uh, seven women. In the 110 member、uh, Osaka Prefectural Assembly at that time, who came out as lesbian in 2005. Even before that, we had Togo Ken. He was a very proud, openly gay、um, candidate. He did not get elected, unfortunately, but he was a very, very proud, openly gay. Politician, and we should not forget about those people. So, in short, there are fewer differences between Japan and the US、um, in terms of LGBTQ acceptance and, and, and activism than many like to think, although there certainly are differences that you might not expect. So, don't assume that Japan is simply following the steps of the、uh, US. 
history of LGBTQ politics. It's not simply behind the U.S. or ahead. It's just different, different in very similar ways. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe uh, to see more videos like this. All right, bye.